Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to bleed the clutch fluid using the gravity bleed method on a Honda S2000. The first thing you want to do is prepare your workspace. Get your car in jack stand so that you can fit under the car. Then fit a rag near the clutch fluid reservoir to catch any stray drops. Remove the clutch fluid reservoir cap and remove as much fluid as possible from the reservoir using a turkey baster. Once the reservoir is as empty as possible, clean the inside of the reservoir with a paper towel. Fill the clutch fluid reservoir with fresh fluid. This makes it so that we have to bleed less fluid throughout the system. Get under your car and locate the clutch slave cylinder. It'll be next to the transmission. Remove the black bleeder cap off the bleeder valve and insert your clear plastic hose onto the bleeder valve. Make sure that the hose fits completely over the valve. You can insert the hose underneath the fabric to hold it in place like so. Use an 8mm wrench to loosen the bleeder valve. You shouldn't need to loosen the valve more than one complete turn. Catch the dripping fluid with a container once it begins to flow from the bleeder valve. Get up from under the car and make sure that the clutch fluid reservoir is topped up as the fluid bleeds through the system. This will ensure that no air is introduced into the system. Continue filling the clutch fluid reservoir as it drops down over and over again. For reference, it should take no more than a quarter of a liter of clutch fluid to flush the old fluid out, so the bleeding process should take no longer than 10 minutes. Once you are confident the old fluid has been flushed out, top up the clutch fluid reservoir and then use an 8mm wrench to tighten the bleeder valve. Remove the clear plastic hose and replace the black bleeder cap. Once again, top up your clutch fluid if it isn't already and replace the clutch fluid reservoir cap. Then remove the rag from underneath the clutch fluid reservoir. Finally, lower the car back down to the ground and clean up any mess that you made. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button and leave a comment for any DIY you'd like to see in the future.